Hi, my name's Rowan Dennis and I ride for the BMC racing team and this is my BMC time machine. Basically my position was created or fine-tuned over years. I started with the track program with Australia and we did numerous amount of wind tunnel testing and then also track testing for power loss and everything and we found a pretty pretty good position and and I've just stuck with it. We have tried little changes but everything seems to be a downfall so we just we just keep it the same. Having their aero extensions is a massive benefit, but having the actual gears on the end of the extensions is probably about 30 seconds. Uh, being able to change it directly as you're in the bars instead of going out and changing, it's every time you move from that or make that frontal surface wider or, or bigger is, is a deficit. My crank length changes from time trial to road 172 and a half on the road but I have 175 on the TT bike there's a lot of theories but it's just what I've always done on the track we used to train with 170s and then go to 175s for race uh, then it changed to 172s for training and 175 for racing I'm not exactly 100% sure but it just feels better I might shoot myself in the foot with any possible sponsorship deals in any new team or this team in the future but I actually believe Shimano is the best group set. DR2 especially, I've tried all the other all the other two as well but I've never had constant issues with, uh, with Shimano and if there is any, any slight issues uh, Shimano changes it and fixes it instantly. As you can see we ride the the, the Pro Tri-Spoke and the disc. Basically, it's all for aerodynamics. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know from uh, my personal experience that when I don't ride a disc, I lose a lot of time. And same for the Tri-Spoke. Uh, the most aerodynamic way, I think, is either a deep rim or a Tri-Spoke. I've tried both, and since I've had it available, I've gone with, uh, with this, this style of wheel. So. I can handle this bike as well as a road bike and not many people usually can so I can't say there's much wrong with the, uh, the wheels and I think they're stiff and, and uh, responsive that's for sure. I actually believe this is the fastest bike I can set up at this time of uh, um, cycling to be honest. I couldn't think of a better, a better setup and bike uh, as a professional at the moment.